Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of Sew with Joy. This is Joy, your host. I'm coming to you with an, a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Um, I might be a little, um, oh, I might sound a little different today. I'm trying not to smile too much because I just had a post screwed in for my tooth or on my jaw <laughs> earlier this well a couple of days ago. So I'm still in recovery. I don't know if you can know, if you notice, but it's slightly small. But that's okay. Um, anyways, so today I'm coming to you with another episode of Still with Joy, and I am going to be focusing on a topic that is near and dear to my heart, and that is um, saving our planet, reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, if you've ever seen the three arrows that look like a triangle, that is what they represent. So one is for reduce, reuse, recycle. Now, why am I talking about this? Um, if you've seen our site, you know that for some of the items we have listed, or for actually all the items we've listed there, um, they're listed as eco-friendly products and why is that um primarily because these are products that you can use over and over again so the, the whole point like you know just small changes you make can make a huge difference in how we treat the environment um, a lot of times people buy items with no thought as far as how else they can reuse it and i am a big proponent of trying to find items that you can reuse or recycle if, if that doesn't work so, um, like I said, all of our bonnets are eco-friendly because you can continue to reuse them. We have a deep conditioning bonnet, which you use, um, you know, that's also another way to save on, <laughs> save on electricity because when you use it, you don't necessarily have to have anything plugged in. You just heat it up and you can go about your day. If you saw my previous post this morning, you saw that I put in my deep conditioning treatment and then went about to um, do other things um, like workout and stuff. Um, the other thing is, as we get closer to the holiday, this is a perfect re uh, a perfect opportunity to actually do something great. A lot of us get gifts that come in, in paper boxes or paper bags, you know, paper gift bags. There is an excellent opportunity to recycle. Um, you can actually even reuse a lot of these bags. You don't have to toss them, um, especially when they're in good condition. You know, you can always reuse them, fold them up, and reuse them for the next holiday. If they're not reusable, then again, another opportunity for you to go ahead and recycle. So all these little things, I mean, just imagine we have over 6 billion people on this planet Earth. And if we can all do our own little part, it really, truly adds up. Um, so, um, outside of that, another opportunity to recycle is donating items. Um, so, I know this year we've, we've had a lot of time, we've spent a lot of time at home. Some of us have, have gone up or down in size. Um, we have items that either fit or uh, that don't fit anymore or um, items that we just don't use anymore. Again, Christmas is an excellent time to actually share. You know, when you have items you're no longer using, find opportunities to give to others. Um, Facebook Marketplace offers an opportunity there where you can actually list your products. You don't have to sell them. You can list them for $0 and have someone pick them up or you can meet them somewhere else, you know, somewhere uh, not too far from your home. Um, that's an opportunity, again, to reuse and recycle because someone else gets the opportunity to wear the, the items. Now, you definitely want to get items that are um, there are still wearable. So, you know, use, give, give away things that you wouldn't mind give, receiving if you needed them. Um, so, and then I have two additional items. Um, the, the next one is to save um, items for reuse. So... Uh, you know, during the holidays, a lot of times we have different things we put around our houses. Um, you know, I know a lot of people say they prefer the fresh, uh, a fresh cut Christmas tree. I get it. It's, there's a huge appeal there, but just, you know, the smell and everything. But if you, you know, if you want to even take it a step further, you can buy a fake tree. Why is that? Because instead of cutting down the greenery we have in, um, in our environment, you can actually reuse that tree over and over and over again. Um, I'll give you an example. The tree we have in the girls' playing room, they have a playroom, and the tree that we let them decorate every year, it's actually, it's eco-friendly one because it's a fake tree. I know not everybody is a fan of fake trees, but you can actually buy fake trees and have um, a spray that you spray to make it smell real. So, hey, you know, you really can't get, go wrong with that. But anyways, um, the fake tree we've had for well over 10 years, and granted, I always have battle scars when I put them up because um, it's a little sharp, the, the um 
the pines are a little sharp, but at the same time, I wouldn't, you know, I still prefer having that because it's something I can reuse again and it avoids, you know, me having to cut down another tree. So there you mm -hmm. go. Um, and then the one we have in our family room right now is a tree that um, we actually purchased last year because um, the one, it was a great uh, sale. And two, we wanted to add another tree to our home. So we decided to get a new, you know, another fake tree. And um, we reuse it every year. And I, I guarantee you that tree will be with us in another, you know, eight, nine years. So <laughs> there, there, you know, there are stuff you could actually reuse. So, you know, our wreaths, we reuse them every year as long as they're in, you know, good condition. The decoration we have outside, even candles, you know, some people, they say, oh, it's, all, it's past Christmas, so I don't have to use... Um, the candles anymore. I'm just going to toss them. Well, you know, th there are two opportunities there even for candles that you use for the holidays. One, you can just wrap them up in um, in uh, paper, uh, newspapers. Uh, that's, uh, that's a great way to wrap it up and still preserve the scent. I'm not going to lie to you. I have a candle I have had since, um, I would say since 2008. And because I don't burn it any other time except for like, you know, every uh, night here and there during the holidays, it's still there. And I guarantee, like, if you walk in my house, you're going to think it's a new candle. Why? Because whenever the holidays are over, I pack it up and I just, you know, I store it for the next season. So, um, you know, and again, you're saving money. I'm not trying to say you, you have to be cheap, but there are a lot of different ways you can do things and just, you know, take care of your environment. We, we should all care about this environment because we want it here when our children come and get older, we want to hear for our grandchildren. Um, we don't, we as humans don't want to be responsible for the destruction of our environment, right? So we want to make sure that we continue to take very good care of it. And the last tip I'm going to um, give you is also me, um, involves uh, actually taking care of the things around your home. So there are a lot of things you can reuse um, when you have plants. You know, sometimes people just like that when they have their, when the season is over, they toss it. But, you know, you can reuse the soil that you use to plant stuff for uh, either for indoor use or to put your plants up for different things. Oh, hi. Thank you. Um, for different things you, you can um, you can there's so many other ways you can reuse a lot of these things um, you can you can place your plant bring your plants in indoors if they're not uh, cold weather conducive um, so you know th there's just so many opportunities so when people always say and I'm not gonna lie I used to be one of those people they said you know I will start recycling when I have someone to take out the trash but <laughs> which is like the worst possible excuse right but you know I find that recycling actually gives me a little bit of um, more um, it, it, it makes me feel empowered it makes me feel like one I'm doing something great for our environment and two it really is just, you know, it's a good thing to know that you're not contributing to the waste to, you know, a lot of the different things that are going on right now. You know, you should just do, it, it pays to do something good. So let's do something great for the environment. Um, so those are some of the tips I have for this holiday season. I hope you would take the opportunity again um, to just look around your home, look around you in your cars and different areas where, you know, where opportunities will think for things to recycle. Um, you know, plastic, obviously, it depends on the type of plastic you have. So take a look if it has the three triangles with the arrows pointing, um, again, reduce, reuse, recycle. If it has that, you can, it means you, it can go in your recycle bin. If it does not have that, make sure it's something you can reuse. You know, I reuse containers you don't have to um it doesn't have to be something that um that's fancy you can reuse it for different things around your home um i also you know there's foods that i can put in plants like you know coffee grinds or some stuff like that to help my plants i reuse that um you know cut up uh, vegetables the stalks and th different things you can use it to create your garden for when the spring comes around um, just look around. You'll always find something that will help you, um, that you know you can do to contribute to less or maybe not contribute, maybe not, that's not the word, but to ensure that we're doing what's best for our environment and also doing what's best for us. You know, having greenery around, having a, an environment where that's clean, where you can smell and, um, you know, ex experience clean air. It, it's a blessing. A lot of people don't think about that, but it really is a blessing. And this is a time to actually think about what are other ways I can give blessings to others. This is a selfless act that you can always do. Um, okay, so I, it's, uh, because this episode, it's always about soul with joy. That was my topic for today. And this is the bonnet I was, um, I made today. It's a black girl magic, as you can see. I don't know if the, the light is catching it properly. Um, but it is, it shimmers. I'll share a video right after this. And it has, uh, burgundy lining. 
Um, this one's going to be going out today. The mailman hasn't stopped by yet, but they will soon. It has elastic. I make all of these bonnets here in Maryland, so you can be rest assured it's not shipping from China. <laughs> um, and um, they're made to last. Again, you know, when I say our products are eco-friendly, I make sure that they made to last. As a matter of fact, someone reached out to me a couple of days ago saying, oh, I'm interested in getting another bonnet. And I said, What's wrong with your bonnet? It has not been a year. And the reason I ask that question, as much as I'd like to have another sale, is to ensure that what we're making for you actually lasts. It lasts beyond um, just a month or two months. We want these to last so that you don't have to keep replacing them. That's the whole point. And like I said, it's very close to my heart, um, saving our environment and doing what's right. So but thanks for joining us. Um, if you have not already done so, please take a moment to visit our site at www.printedbonnet.com. I'm going to be adding a few more tips on how some ways around, you know, your home that you can actually recycle products different things you mm -hmm. use um, I'd appreciate it if you just take a moment to comment share this video uh, thanks again and until next time this is another episode of so with joy have a wonderful weekend and happy holidays